Dave. Good afternoon. Now uh, we are out here on Pike Lake. We have Caitlin Holm and Jeremy Williamson from Polk County Land and Water Conservation Department, and I am Steve Schieffer. I am president of the Amory Lakes District. Oh, about three years ago, we had uh, the Eurasian Water Milfoil uh, show up here in Pike Lake, and that very first year, we found it early in the spring, and that very first year, we uh, delineated about a quarter of an acre out here on the north, I guess it would be the northeast shoreline. And we speculate that maybe the landing is just uh, to our west here. So we're speculating that maybe a fragment got in at the landing and, and drifted down in this direction. But uh, we delineated about a quarter acre and that very first year in the spring we had it herbicided with 2,4-D and it was quite effective. And so since then we have been coming in and diving to remove by hand uh, to stay on top of things. Uh, not needing to herbicide it. And you probably would not be able to see it with the camera here, but we have quite an extensive stand of, of native milfoil in this area in addition to the Eurasian. And so what we're trying to do is remove the Eurasian and leave the native northern milfoil, which is a, a very desirable aquatic plant. If we herbicided this, it would not only kill the Eurasian, but it would also kill the northern water milfoil, which we don't want to do. So one of the best ways to target it and get it out of here is to do it by using uh, human discretion, I guess you would refer to it as. And so we put on uh, snorkel gear. Last year, I guess we were able to get it with just snorkel gear, but this year we're using scuba, deer, scuba gear. And we've done that in the past where we can stay underwater a longer period of time. So um, we've also been rake removing and trying that a little bit this year and pulled out maybe three, four garbage cans full. They were out on Pike Lake in Amory, Wisconsin in Polk County and we're actually doing some hand pulling of uh, an aquatic invasive plant called Eurasian water milfoil. Jeremy is actually in the water now and it's maybe a little hard to see through the water but that bag that he has in his left hand there is actually full of the Eurasian water milfoil. So again, they are using their scuba gear to search underwater for the plants and then they hand pull it and put it in the bags. Here we can actually see just how much biomass of the Eurasian water milfoil that Steve has removed. You can see the bag he's got on his left there. It's actually full of the plant and it's about to haul it up to the boat. In my right hand here, I actually have a native milfoil and then in my left I actually have the Eurasian water milfoil and it's probably really hard to see the difference here but we'll try to get some close-up footage of these two plants so that you can really see the difference. What I have displayed on this white background is actually some of the native water milfoil and the Eurasian water milfoil and Eurasian water milfoil is the plant that's on the right and then the native milfoil is the plant that's on the left and you can see from this sample that the Eurasian water milfoil actually it has a reddish stem on it, but that's not always the case. The native water milfoils can have that reddish stem too. So all of the milfoils, native and invasive, are distinct in that they actually are made up of leaflets that are arranged in whorls around the stem of the plant. So it's a little hard to see here, but along the stem, if you can imagine it, there are different increments and from each place at the stem there's actually four leaflets coming out of the stem. So here's actually a more close-up look at the Eurasian water milfoil and it's actually starting to get dried out a little bit. It's fairly windy out, but here it's really easy to see. You can see, you know, about every inch on, on this piece there are actually four leaflets coming out from each area of the stem and it's really easy to see because the wind's actually blowing one of those sets of four leaflets. What I have up on the screen now is actually pieces of both the Eurasian water milfoil on the right and then the native milfoil on the left. What I've actually done is clipped the piece and spread it out in the middle of each of those two pieces there is where the stem would attach. So now you can really see how the leaflets are whirled around the plant and there's usually four at each node or each each segment along the stem. And the real way to tell the Eurasian water milfoil from the native milfoil is simply by counting those leaflets. Zoomed in a little bit and now you can actually count those different leaflets. So on the Eurasian, just on one side of that leaflet, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, upwards to 20 
on, on the one side of that leaflet, whereas with the native, you can see we've only got two for about six. The Eurasian is actually a lot larger than the sample of the native milfoil I have. That's, that's not necessarily the case. Um, that just happens to be the, the different fragments that I've found from the bucket. This is just an image from the boat of some of what the native milfoil looks like from the water. This is a view of the Eurasian water milfoil from the side of the boat. So we just got done and uh, feel like we got it pretty well and we'll continue to keep an eye on things with this so that uh, we won't have it overtake. And we've been monitoring all the lakes, that be Pike Lake, North Twin, and South Twin diligently, hoping that we're not gonna see it show up in the other two lakes or see it spread in this lake. And so far, so good. So uh, if you're watching this, we ask that people that use our lakes be very, very careful about not bringing in uh, more invasives uh, in addition to the Eurasian. And also when you remove your boats to check it very, very carefully so you don't spread uh, Eurasian to other lakes from this lake and keep an eye out. Learn how to identify Eurasian and, uh, and other exotics so that uh, we can have more eyes watching. So thank you very much.